All right, folks, what's going on? All right, I'm back. I'm going to pick another lock. Um, yeah, you guessed it. Same night, just different time. No, same time. Just new lock. <laughs> Got too much going on during the week to pick new locks all the time. All right, this one is a Leon's lock pad. And this one is Ruffs, R-U-F-Z. And while I've got it focused, there's the bidding. It's not too bad. And yeah, we're gonna need a shim on that. And it's a Defiant. Which looks like just a regular quick set key. But the keyway looks a little different than quick set. Let's grab what's left of this little light. It's got a little extra warding in there. So. We'll see what we've got to work with here. And I'm gonna grab my two favorite picks. And move this over. Start off with a short hook. Actually, I could have started off with my deep hook. That was four, five, and four. Feels like Three, two, and we're gonna go with the deep hook. This is just a DeForest Diamond from Peterson in 18 thousandths. All right, that was one. A little bit of counter and a set. Three feels good. Four feels set. And five feels set. Hmm. I believe this is a six pinner. Yeah, there's some counter there. Let's overset something. This is the band whether I want it to work off the uh, work off the bottom for a tension wrench. All right. It was I believe six. I'm horrible about sitting and counting pins. Alright. 
three, three again, and there we are. All right, while well, I'm getting everything out to gut this, you all already know the drill. Uh, putting Leon's channel in the description, along with my email and my and my um, Discord server link. Stop by, check out Discord. Might actually surprise you. It's you know. This one, once it gets up and running and get we get a few more members, like a lot more, then it'll actually be quite helpful to the community. But we need the members first. We need the people to join, that way it can be helpful. Because without uh, anybody in the community in there, then no one will know. Y'all didn't notice, I'm just trying to stall and buy time because I'm having a slow day here, just not a whole lot's wanting to work with me. I'm trying my hardest to keep this in frame. This one's not exactly being the easiest to shim. I gotta shim it. Alright, let's zoom back out. Uh, this shim is not liking me. I don't know what's wrong with that one. And I'm gonna zoom y'all back in for a second, I know. Just zoomed you out. Um, I don't see my pack of shims. this one up then, because I know where my scissors are, not my shims. I will have to find those before my next video. Which will be later on tonight. Not sure when because my I don't know if my battery will hold out for another one. Alright, so we're gonna go with the little flimsy thin shim. There's something keeping me from even sticking a shim up in there. Alright, we're going to get this one the way I don't like to get them. We're going to have to reverse gut it. So, 
flip that around like that. Leon, I don't know how you got this thing back together. I'm just hoping that there's no T-pins in there. I didn't feel any. good spool. Nope. Saw how that one came out of there. It came out of there just like that. That one looks like a GG pin almost. Someone's been playing with GG locks. Stubborn lock. Am I missing something here? Hmm. Yeah, it looks like it's just got yeah, like no spring tension on it. back for that one. Alright. Set the core off to the side for a second. Give me a second. I completely skipped over number three. I thought that was number two that was stuck. Well, I got butter fingers. Yep, number three is completely seized in there. It's moving around a little bit, but not by much. Hmm. And a couple of springs down in there. Alright, Leon, you're gonna have to get back to me on this one because I'm not sure what I've done here. See, now it's. two. Two and three are stuck.
Okay, well that was stupid. Yep, I have completely botched this gutting. Leon, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, you're gonna have to let me know what went where because I dumped everything out of the top or out of the core by mistake. Um, let's see, I doubt that's gonna be the right size. No, why would it be that simple? Uh, I got another one over here. Yeah, that one is stuck in there. That sleeve is in there. The sleeve from, uh, key pin number, or from driver number three. And that was actually flipped around the other way. Let's see, let's grab the key. And hope that everything is different cuts. Looks like it'll just be two and five are the only two dip or similar ones. Switch two and five. Two. And number five. There we are. All the key pins are in and working. Leon, you're gonna have to get back to me on if I put them back in the right order. I knew my time was coming to botch you gutting. I've also got a driver stuck in the chamber here. Might help if I was go after the right chamber. Yeah, Leon, you'll have to let me know if you want me to send this back to you with since that uh, sleeve is stuck down in there. But everything is threaded all the way down. Let's see. Yeah, it's picking it up. See that little collar down in there? I made a really nice pin and pin in there, but the collar got stuck in the uh, chamber. 
but very nice pins. Well, there's actually two pin and pins in here. Very nice pins by Leon. And like I said, Leon, you're gonna have to let me know if these were these are in the right order. So a T pin, key pin, and then a uh, looks like a tapered collar, you know, a stepped collar with a uh, for a pin and pin. Um, uh, a spool key pin and a T pin key pin standard key pin and then a pin and pin I don't know what was on the collar uh, it got wedged up in there uh, I'll still work to get it out but I don't doubt I will um, serrated key pin and then a spooled serrated collar or a driver serrated key pin and then a GG style driver a standard key pin and a spool I just looked up and my battery's dead, so... Alright folks, check out the Discord down in the link. Check out Leon, his, uh, his, his page is going to be down in the link too. So, until next time, catch y'all later.